I want to talk about um, a few things. Do you have a skiff in your home? Yes, I did. Okay, and who else was at your home? Were you alone? I was alone, yes. The whole night? Well, yes, the whole night. <laughs> well, I don't know why that's funny. I mean, did you have any in-person briefings? It's, I don't find it funny at all. <laughs> I'm sorry, a little note of levity at 7.15. Well, I mean, uh, the reason I say it's record. not funny is because um, it went well into the night uh, when our uh, folks on the ground were still in danger. So I don't think it's funny to ask well, you if you were alone the whole night. Congresswoman, you asked if I had a skiff. I had secure phones. I had other uh, equipment that kept me in touch with the uh, State Department at all times. I Vertigo, they can have forgetfulness. Is that video we're showing a seizure? Well, maybe. Yes, it, it certainly could be. Uh, it, I mean, well, watch it right here. Let, let's just watch, yeah, I want, watch it closely here. Watch the reporter back right there. The you see the report, look, and it goes on and on and on. That That is. To me, bizarre. There's certainly some neurologic issue uh, going on, depending on when this tape was taken. But 30% of the patients that have some sort of the post-traumatic injuries, they can have cognitive issues, forgetfulness. Sometimes they can forget words. It's in freezes. So I can show just to, to be clear uh, on. I talked to a top uh, epileptologist today, a seizure specialist, one of the top in the country, that does not think that's a seizure. So I want to be clear. We need the records to be able to make those determinations. About 90 minutes in, Mrs. Clinton left, saying she felt overheated. Before she was taken to her daughter's apartment, a camera captured Mrs. Clinton appearing woozy and losing balance as she was escorted into her SUV. A short time later, she emerged from her daughter's apartment. When you look at that collapse, that video that was taken, you wonder if if it's not more serious. No, no, she... Than dehydration. She's and, been, uh, well, if it is, it's a mystery to me and all of her doctors. Rarely, but on more than one occasion over the last many, many years, the same sort of things happened to her when she just got severely dehydrated. Uh, and she's worked like a demon, as you know, as Secretary of State and as a senator and in the years since. She Uh, it's chaotic, but uh, law enforcement is trying to make sense out of it. They're trying to obviously not let something happen again in the next 10 minutes, the next hour. This is an NBC News special report. Here's Lester Holt. Good day from New York. Some concerns raised uh, this morning about the well-being of Hillary Clinton, Democratic candidate for president, after she left the 9-11 memorial service uh, at Ground Zero earlier than expected. Her campaign telling us uh, that it may have been related to the heat and that she is okay. And of course, the late night comics are weighing in. You know what? Everyone, especially reporters, have a right to be angry. You know, as does everybody else who Hillary kissed and touched this weekend. <laughs> yeah, look at her, look at her, handing out pneumonia like it's a free sample at Costco. Would you like some pneumonia? Trump has refused to attack her while she's sick, and he even said yeah, that he hopes she feels better. At which point people started asking Trump if he was feeling okay. <laughs> Maybe you should lie down, Mr. Trump. Her campaign telling us uh, that it may have been related to the heat and that she is okay. Let's but what I see in this video is someone who is unsteady and wobbly, but conscious on a hot and humid day in New York City like today. Elise Finch is here now with your exclusive CBS 2 forecast. And Elise, a lot of people are looking at today as a little bit of relief after yesterday. Yeah, for sure. It's relief from the heat and humidity. The temperatures were down, but so were the dew points. So we had cooler temperatures, lower humidity, and generally speaking, a nicer day to be outside. And here are the basic facts. She had two episodes of what's called deep venous thrombosis. Common problem, blood clots in the leg. She also has hypothyroidism. And she's been treated for hypothyroidism with something called Armour Thyroid, which is very unconventional and something that we used to use back in the 60s. And both he and I went, hmm, that's weird. And by the way, wow, uh, Armour Thyroid sometimes has some weird side effects. Oh, well, okay. So she goes on Coumadin. That's weird uh, because Coumadin really isn't even used anymore. Now we use Eliquis or Xarelto, things like this. Certainly the, somebody, the presidential candidate, would get one of the newer anticoagulants. Then she falls, hits her head. And as a complication of that has something called a transverse sinus thrombosis. This is an exceedingly rare clot. I've only seen one of these in my career, which is a clot in the collecting system for the cerebral spinal fluid. 
and it essentially guarantees that somebody has something wrong with their coagulation system. Well, she's had two clots, a transverse sinus thrombosis. What's wrong with her coagulation system? Has that been evaluated? And oh, by the way, armor thyroid associated rarely with hypercoagulability. So the very medicine the doctors are using may be causing this problem, and they're using an old-fashioned medicine to treat it. What is going on with her health care? It's bizarre. i got to tell you, look, maybe they have reasons, but at a distance, it looks bizarre. And she, um, she would uh, continuously um, berate people, uh, as I mentioned before, um, but she was like two different people. Uh, again, she would be polite and nice to everybody when the cameras were on, and then when they were off, she was just cold, distant. Seconds person, later. Just almost instantly. I mean, that's what I've experienced quite a few times. And I also think we'd be a lot better off if we actually talked to each other instead of yelling at each other. I'm so sick. I'm so sick. I'm standing here being lying about me. She does seem angry a lot. Right. And you're saying behind closed doors when nobody's looking, she's that angry person always. Or, or mostly. Or distant, uh, uh, cold. What I've been looking at there, Sean, doesn't concern me too much. That's her being a politician. The kind of anger I'm talking about is where she just almost can't even complete a sentence. She starts yelling, screaming, cussing. Um, you know, uh, I talked in the book house. By the way, mistreating the people in their First, positions. Sure. All the time. You, yes, the uniform division officers, agents. Um, so, so this is like you're describing a you're describing a phony, fake, fraudulent human being. Absolutely. All right, let me give you an example. This is Hillary, you know, saying she remembers landing under sniper fire when she went to Bosnia. This is what she said. I remember landing under sniper fire. There was supposed to be some kind of a greeting ceremony at the airport, but instead we just ran with our heads down to get into the vehicles uh, to get to our base. Great image making, but here's the problem. We have the real video, and this is it. This is Hillary arriving, not under sniper fire, but she walks up to a group of young girls who give her flowers and give her gifts. That's not exactly sniper fire. So is that the person that you're trying to warn America about? Yes. Explain. She, in other words, she's, she sits with an interview with Bill. You think they're the happiest couple together. The light right. goes off. She hates them. Right. I don't know if she hates him or not, but I, but I will tell you that the example you just showed there is a perfect example of anybody that worked around them in the Secret Service, when they saw that, they knew flat, they started laughing their faces off because they knew that was a flat out lie. Secretary Clinton said there was nothing marked classified on her emails either sent or received. Was that true? That's not true. Secretary three, three, Clinton three, said three, I did three, not email three. any classified material to anyone on my email. There is no classified material. Was that true? Now, there was classified material emailed. Secretary Clinton said she used just one device. Was that true? She used multiple devices. Secretary Clinton said all work-related emails were returned to the State Department. Was that true? No, we found work-related emails thousands. Did her lawyers read the email content individually? No. The Internet is lighting up with conspiracy theories claiming this is not Hillary Clinton, but a body double. Hillary seemed in good spirits as she emerged from her daughter Chelsea's apartment Sunday after collapsing at the 9-11 memorial ceremony. But the Twitterverse erupted. Nose looks very different. This isn't Hillary. Another conspiracy theorist noted the absence of any obvious Secret Service agents close by when Hillary walked out of Chelsea's apartment building. Some citizen sleuths claim the woman emerging from Chelsea's apartment was actually this woman, Teresa Barnwell, who's the spitting image of the presidential candidate. And Teresa added fuel to the fire when she posted a photo of herself outside the apartment building wearing sunglasses with the caption, maybe I was in New York. Power. Teresa Barnwell even has an ironclad alibi. She was impersonating Hillary all right, but 3,000 miles away in L.A. Here's the evidence. She was appearing live on Spike TV's lip sync battle along with lookalikes of Bill Clinton, President Obama, and First Lady Michelle. Why did you post that tweet? Just to kind of mess with people because of this rumor that had started that some kind of body double had come out of the apartment uh, instead of the real Hillary. She's worked like a demon, as you know, as Secretary of State and as a senator and in the years since. She now, one of the things that I have learned about Hillary Clinton is that one of her heroes, her mentors, 
was Saul Alinsky. And her senior thesis was about Saul Alinsky. This was someone that she greatly admired and that affected all of her philosophies subsequently. Now, interestingly enough, let me tell you something about Saul Alinsky. He wrote a book called Rules for Radicals. On the dedication page, it acknowledges Lucifer, the original radical who gained his own kingdom. Now, think about that. This is a nation where our founding document, the Declaration of Independence, talks about certain inalienable rights that come from our creator. This is a nation where our Pledge of Allegiance says we are one nation under God. This is a nation. This is a nation where every coin in our pocket and every bill in our wallet says, in God we trust. So are we willing to elect someone as president who has as their role model somebody who acknowledges Lucifer? Think about that. The secular progressive agenda is antithetical to the principles of the founding of this nation. And if we continue to allow them to take God out of our lives, God will remove himself from us. We will not be blessed and our nation will go down the tubes. And we will be responsible for that. We don't want that to happen.